Lives. In this episode for Halloween, we have Ariella, and we're going to be inter interviewing Nick and Ariella right now. It's so glad to have you guys on the show. How are you doing? Hello. I'm fantastic. How are you today? So excited to have you guys on. I met them at the NAM show a couple years ago, pre-pandemic, and we hit it off and just, you know, it's been, I'm really excited to finally get you guys because I love your music and I consider myself a huge fan now. Well, thank you. You guys sent me this phenomenal, sh this phenomenal shoot, this YouTube video. Can we talk a little bit about where, what we're going to see here? Sure. So I wrote a song called Joy, and it's about uh, being okay if the end of a relationship is to come. And it's just getting to ask myself, like, if, it's, if this is it, then it's okay. Like, we've tried, we've done it, we've been there. I love you, and it's okay to say goodbye with love. Um, we didn't end up saying goodbye, but we still got a song out of it. So it's called Joy. And um, we, we've been you know, writing music for a dozen years and performing and recording. And the, the guy that recorded this video, he did a couple of them and it's on our YouTube channel, but his name is Dylan Turflinger from the Ghost Motel. And he's absolutely wonderful. He is the, my favorite videographer we've ever used so far. So um, I'm really happy with the video. I love the audio. I love this song. It means a lot to me. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's, uh, do you have anything to say about it, Nick? Um, so one of the funny things about the song is the uh, there's lots of chords in the intro, and it was one of the few times where Ari was searching for something in her mind, and she was trying to describe to me what she wanted to hear, and for some reason I just went, oh, you want it to sound like the Bee Gees. And she's like, what? And I go, I've got it. Just start singing and played this long, elaborate chord progression. And she's like, that doesn't sound like the Bee Gees. I'm like, it does to me, just go with it. And that's <laughs> how it came about. And it's one of those weird times where it we usually are having a tug of war of trying to get me to understand what quarterly she wants behind her singing. And it's one of those things where for some reason this odd light bulb went off and it came together in that moment and was exactly it. I'm pretty sure we did take the long chordal intro out of the video, but it is in the other. It'll, it'll be at the end of the video. Yeah. If it's not. Mm. Let's see what we got here. Let's let's view this together. I think you just put it on. If I don't bring you, if I don't bring you joy, if I don't, if I don't bring you happiness, if I don't make, if I don't you, make you smile, I'm not scared. I'm not scared of loneliness. Walk you can walk out on me because the power in me is the power that makes me believe that I don't need you to make me complete. If I don't make life better, it's time for me to leave. Mm. After all of these years and all of these tears, all of the joy, no, I don't mind giving up the fight. I can say that we've tried. You all right, I'm going to start to cry, so I got to stop that. <laughs> That's amazing. Holy cow. And I don't see any Bee Gees in that going on. Whatsoever. <laughs> Me either. It, it's a chordal thing. I don't Let's talk. So a lot of times when I'm trying to ask for something, I really, I, I, I'm, I feel a little bit um, illiterate in trying to like, I can't write down anything or, and I can't, I feel a little bit like just kind of paralyzed in trying to communicate. And it's super frustrating. I'm not just for me, but for him too. And when I'm, I have something in my head, trying to get it across. And so this was one of the times where I didn't really have to try to explain it, and he just clicked. And I really it just it. yeah, it just takes on a life of its own. You know, it really stands apart. Let's bring up this other one. I want to check this one out next. Any anything you want to say before we start to spin this one? No, not really. What's it about? Terrified. Um, being, uh, 
being afraid that um, not only is it over, but I'm not the I'm not the only one. Okay, let's give this a spin. The years we've been together I've loved to make it forever It's been such a long time mm -hmm. But these days you seem much colder No love you just roll over Tell me have you changed your mind I'm so terrified Is this one-sided Or have you decided To stay with me And fight for Tell me, am I still the only one? You can say if there's another, can she love you better? Or have I done something wrong? With all I know, I still can't gather. Is there someone else you would rather? Is what we had gone? That's awesome. Such awesome work. Thanks. Thank you. I'm leaving that as a teaser. I could just keep on playing that. Now, I, I wanted. Intense. What's that? At the end, it gets really intense. Well, let's go. Screaming and crying. And... How, far in, how far in do you think? Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> you just see? have to watch it later. You got to see the video to catch the ending here, folks. Yeah, Let me watch. ask about this set design here. Why the television set? What's going on? I love it, but what's happening here? What that's, is that? that's the Ghost Motel thing. That's uh, his um kind of production company it's called ghost motel and he has different bands come in there and play so that's like a reoccurring set that um he sets oh. up well that's kismet because it's halloween and you got ghost motel and you guys are here finally so I'm, i appreciate that you guys are are here with that phenomenal original material oh thank you phenomenal stuff i don't i don't know how you do it Man, it's it's really amazing, and and uh, you're actually recording that while you're shooting the video, or are you doing playback? Yeah, yeah that was all wow. live. Wow, that's amazing. I I've always been blown away by that, even with the guitar work. Like, I know I'd miss a note and want to reach, you know, take take thirty seven, you know, or whatever. <laughs> but uh, man, what was it like to shoot these videos? How did you stumble on the Ghost Motel guy and and? He stumbled onto us, I think. Didn't he contact he's really us? he's really popular in the scene in our area and once you like because all the at the time we had the band and um I think we just all kind of ran in the same circle and he was doing a lot of the other popular bands in the area and then came across us and sent us a, I don't know if he sent us a video or not, but he was like, Hey, I want to do a video and we needed video. We always need we always need video. So we're like, cool. What time? Nice. That's all you, you know, and, and that's all you need is the moving camera. The camera's phenomenal. The audio is really great. And it's all, and then you guys just carry it. That's, that's great. What percentage of the songs that you write are about you two? Um, <laughs> 90. 90. Nice. Percent. That's great. That's all you need. 
you just needed each other and then the music comes out and there it is it stands on its own some of them are real and some of them are fictional it's really interesting because sometimes we just write about um just stories and it's always the other person going what about this or you can put that in there and then you could say this or um and we just kind of mess around and sometimes i'm like yeah but that's not true he's like it's a song it's a song it doesn't have to be a story like a personal you know doesn't have to be completely realistic you can just you know art what do you call artistic uh artistic license yeah that. yes there you go so we have this we have this website and the venmo uh here at the bottom you can get the new cd can you hold the new cd up there it is ariella very nice so we should go through a little history of, yeah let's do it the the guys in this photo are basically the last incarnation of the group ari and the alibis so you got uh you got james here who plays trombone marvin plays bass there's ari uh princess plays drums me um Ari and the Alibis was together since 2013, 2013 or so, still present. And um, we've had a, a lot of different rhythm sections in the band with uh, James, Ari, and I. Um, but uh, we finally realized that we've been doing this a long time, and James wanted to uh, retire basically from the group because he has a full-time job and been working pretty much every day for six years and he wanted to chill out and we ended up switching the name to Ariella because we had a feeling that the band was going to be falling away and then it did and now it's just the two of us that go by Ariella. Nice. So this is a new incarnation. What was, when was the last gig you had? You opened for Cool in the Gang. When, when was that in Clearwater? October 14th. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago. Okay, here. close enough. Yeah, good. Today's the 1st of November. So if you're viewing this in the future, which you probably will be, because whatever. It's not live. <laughs> yeah. We are we're not doing we're not doing live. We wouldn't want to bother people. Uh I don't know what that means, but <laughs> these are the links. It's Ariella Music. You can find that on there. And uh any Facebook pages and stuff like that you want to promote? Uh, Facebook.com slash officially Ariella. Maybe it looks something yep. like that. There That's it is. The one. How did that happen? Before. Spooky. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> now, how many? Uh, so if you want to buy the CD, you go to uh, myariella.com or. No, actually, just. Uh, just I, ideally, up. PayPal is the easiest, but. Um, where do you find the where where can people go to see this get this get the cd well honestly okay so here's how here's what it is here's what's going on <laughs> <It's good. laughs> okay so what had happened was is it's been a really long time we've had this band and we've done a lot of things we've gone a lot of places and we've we've made a lot of amazing friends thank you and it's been such a great adventure. It's always been Nick and I, because we had a band before this band. And then we played as a duet, and then we missed having a band, so we started another band. And now this one's kind of fallen away. But uh, over the last nine years, we've made some amazing friendships. Like, fans turned really good friends. And the only reason that we really wanted to put this CD out was for them. We tried so many times to make time to get, to get all five of us into the studio and every time like something would happen and it was just really like pulling teeth to make mm. any kind of progress. And when there's five people with five schedules and we're all trying to like do our own thing and it just became less and less important. It was less and less of a priority, mm. but our fans still really mattered. So when the end was really in sight, we, Nick, really? May I finish this? No. Nicholas, <laughs> no. Nicholas, um, he, he had talked to uh, one person in particular, was Brian, and he was talking to Brian, and he was like, look, man, I really need your, your uh, request. I need it to be specifically asked. Please ask me that you want this thing to be done. 
And so it was our second to last show because our last show was actually the Cool and the Gang thing. That was the finale to the end of the era. This band has been going. Um, but the second to last show was at the Blue Rooster, which was where our very first gig was when we started the band. So it was the end of that particular, and this our, it's our home venue, and it's a really beautiful music venue. It's one of the only actual music venues that we have in our area, and there's no TVs, and it's specifically designed for musicians to play for the audience. It is more like a supper club because we've got dinner and not much of a dance floor, but it's still, it's beautiful. And so we played there. We played wonderfully. We played our little hearts out, and we had been, he happened to hit record, and when Brian said, I really want those new songs that you wrote, but haven't recorded yet, please, will you do this for me? Nicholas made time to take those recordings and put them on this CD. So this very last, our band finale CD is Ariel Alive at the Blue Rooster. And it's been about nine years of us making music together. And there was four or five songs that just needed to be recorded for them. And that way we can share them. So we didn't really make it available online because most of our fans that really wanted these new songs were here in town. Mm. So we really just made it. So we ordered, I think, 100, 150? Yeah, something like that. 150 yeah, CDs. Like, there's only really a handful of them to begin with. And we took them to our last couple of live shows. We do have some duet shows coming up at the, in the middle of November. But we really just wanted them to have access to it. But we also realized we've got out-of-state fans and so of course if they re if you really want this cd we really want you to have it because you're the reason we made it so it's you just send us an email and the money in either a venmo or a paypal or however you feel comfortable sending we have zelle we've got all that stuff thanks to covid mm -hmm. we've got all the ways you can send us money and you can even send it in the mail uh and we'll take it that way too but um with your address of course and we'll be happy to send you our music well, there's the Venmo rolling right now and the website and make sure you send us your address to where you want us to send the CD. Oh, that's important too. Now, it's what about calls, Andy. <laughs> what about live shows streaming live a weekly live stream song? Or... That, that's something we, we talked about. We used to stream as a duet. See, we had Ariella going and Ari and the Alibis going at the, um, at the same time for a while. Hmm. And uh, we'd end up as a duet, picked up um, a following in Europe. And wow. they would, we'd stream, um, I forget what time it was, but it worked out where it was e like evening for them or something like weird in the afternoon. Whatever it was, it worked out well. And uh, we'd have people from, a bunch of people from France, from UK, Holland, all these different places uh, tuning into our live streams. And we were doing that once a week. New Zealand. New Zealand. But uh, wow. once, once the band started gigging again, it just became too much because we have kids and we have stuff going on. But it's like when we weren't gigging, it's like, yeah, let's uh, really focus on the streaming aspect of it. Um, then once uh, the band started gigging, we're like now we just got to focus on playing the gigs and which is a lot more work than yeah, because you got to. We don't have two full setups. We got to like tear stuff down and go set it up mm -hmm. at a gig, then bring it back and set it up again, and all that jazz. But um, now we're at a point where we kind of just stopped gigging for a bit and took a break. Mm. Um, the goal that we want to go to eventually is doing a duet stage show that is the story of us and how we got wow. together and the music that came out of that and the like our trials and tribulations because it's. Um, it's a interesting story. It's not like we just met one night and then lived happily ever after. <laughs> there's, like, there's layers to it. And, um, but the, how much we've grown as individuals and what we've learned about relationships that we didn't know before we got together um, about things like how the idea of meeting the person that's the one is an illusion. It's like you want that because it means you don't have to change. And everyone dreams of that because that means I'm perfect just the way I am. And there's someone else who's going to love me just the way I am. And it's like, no, but you can find someone you're willing to grow towards. And that's what we've done over these years where we've become the people that is capable of being in a relationship 
that is better, way better than anything we've ever had before. Mm. And the personal growth and the journey of that and as a couple and of the music. And it's, it's weird playing some of the old songs because I'm not sad anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, like I was, <laughs> we, we had a joke actually, we were talking about a friend of ours who's a drummer and it's like, the problem with him is that because he's the kind of guy that can show up and be on time, he's not the kind of guy who can play drums right. <laughs> you know, it's like we, we, we're used to dealing with tormented people that have a lot of issues. And that's what gives <laughs> us the sound that we're looking for and like the, the kind of feel to it and that soul to it. But it makes for uh, often um, unreliable human beings to play mm. with. So, but uh, now we're just doing the duet thing and, it's a lot easier and um, I'm just tired of trying to herd cats. Yeah. Uh, well, the, the big, the thing that's amazing also, I mean, is that uh, you guys are involved in relationship and in each other's lives in a whole spectrum of ways musically and as a you know a couple but also as parents and you have children and you're like wow that's you guys are like the models of for other 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 people that you could put out a book even like after you do the musical and as soon as you talk it's talking about chronicling your relationship in music in in the form of music which is a phenomenal way to tell the story i was seeing that you guys were the vision I had, and you can use this if you want, just give me credits somewhere in the in the uh, playbill. But uh, you, you're playing the music, and behind you is the scene. Like you've had actors on stage playing you, mm. you guys, and you know, uh, just yeah, all of that. You know, what, uh, things that had happened, and so that's a thought <laughs> for Broadway. <laughs> And you guys, that another thing is, is you're not living in Los Angeles or New York or you're in, uh, in Florida. Yeah, Sarasota. And, and there's a scene there. You guys are probably the forefront of the scene. That's you know my mom told me today, I went over to her house this morning. <laughs> she, goes, she goes, do you know that there are nine rockers that live in Sarasota? And I go, uh, no, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know it was that many. She goes, do you know? And she started listing all these people. And I was like, yep, yep. That makes sense. Okay. And I was like, it's a great place to live. It really is. Sarasota. I remember when speaking of Nam, one of the first times I ever met my friend, Jay Tinsky, he was working at Sennheiser and that's how I got connected with them. He booked the stages. And so when I showed up at the Sennheiser booth and I was like, hi, I love you. And I love your products. Who do I talk to, to tell them that I love you? And they go, oh, you want Jay? So I was like, okay. So he's, oh, he's on lunch. So I had to come back and talk to Jay. And when I came back and I was like, hi, I love you. And I love your product. And I just want you to know that. And he was like, who are you? What do you do? What do you want? <laughs> and I was like, um, well, um, and this is years ago, you know, a little old man. It's my first big NAM. I'd never been to Winter NAM before. Oh, was nice. it Summer NAM? The, that was my first one with Summer NAM. And uh, so I show, yeah, and I show up at, at Winter NAM and I was just like, wow. So I go up to this guy and I'm just like, little old me going, I just love everything. And he goes, okay, so what do you want? And I go, nothing. Uh, and he's, he goes, where are you from? And I said, Tampa. And he was like, oh, really? I'm moving to Sarasota in a couple of months. And I go, I, did, I uh, I'm from Sarasota. He goes, well, why didn't you say that? <laughs> I was like, well, I didn't think anybody knew where Sarasota was. And he was like, mm -hmm, yeah, they know the world knows. Trust me. So I, I had no idea. I always thought I was from this little small town, but apparently it's like the place to come, especially if you're a retiring musician. Oh my God. Wow. And you're, you're endorsing Sennheiser. Uh, they not currently. No. Technically. We aren't contracted right now, but yeah still friends i just i'll always endorse them on a personal level because i love their i've always loved their microphones um i love them as people i love their staff they're just i just love them i love you guys and i miss you and i <laughs> i know that it's never going to be the same but i just i am so glad that i got to meet both of the brothers uh that took over for their 
their father and their grandfather that started the company. And I got to hang out with both of them different years. And they're both just beautiful people. And I'm so, uh, I'm just honored that I even got to have a relationship with them. And if they ever need anything, the answer is always yes. Um, they send us shirts. So, you know, now they own us. <laughs> yeah. Um, on the, uh, on YouTube, there's some, um, as Ari and the Alibis, we did some videos for the Sweetwater Gear Fest. Oh, wow. It was filmed by the same guy who did the Ghost Motel mm. stuff. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did it in a studio, and they ended up becoming some of the most watched uh, videos of Gear Fest because it was all online. So everything oh, wow. had to be done videos because of the pandemic. And um, so that was a, a really successful endeavor. Because we had gone there the year before, and... We were the only band that like they had come out and we played i don't know if you've ever been to gear fest but it's all these huge tents um so instead of like booths that they have at nam they have these enormous tents because it's outside in, in a gear. parking lot and oh. uh it's at the sweetwater headquarters which is enormous in and fort uh, wayne indiana yep so we, uh -huh. we all got flown out to fort wayne indiana <laughs> and our buddy at sennheiser chris he's like yeah don't thank me he's like wait till you get no here. it was a it's like it's gonna be you, Sweetwater, and the cows. <laughs> it was super it was cool. wonderful. It and was they fun. had all kinds of bands playing in the evenings, and so that was oh was so much fun. I had a blast, and that was where I met Fabrice. Yeah. So Fabrice Dupont, who gave me that quote that's on the front page of our website, he's such a oh cool. very nice. He's so sweet. Um, I'm really grateful, and he uh he made time for us, um, several different times. Uh, and I know he's a very busy man and he's very, um, well, he's very popular. <laughs> Quite famous. Yeah. Quite famous. Mm. And so he, he took time and he, he really helped kind of, uh, start lovingly shaping, uh, perhaps you could try narrowing down, um, what it is that you do. And, um, even though I haven't done it yet, I'm thinking about it. It was great advice. <laughs> yeah. We have yet to follow it, but it was great advice. It is. That's very cool. I'll have to give him credit in the description of the video for like email me his name and I can give him some the ghost motel stuff. Um, well, that's you know, still, always... does the videos. Fabrice is uh, an, an engineer and producer and um, he's working. His most current thing I think I saw on his uh, website is he was working with um, Mark Ronson. No, he's worked with him before. But... Yeah, but no, the hmm. artist. With the mustache and the oh uh crosby thank you david crosby david crosby oh wow yeah. um on his latest album he's up in new york city his art it's just lovely i'm so so glad that i get to know these people even, yeah it's, you um, can be famous uh but you don't have to be nice and i happen to know some of the nice ones so i'm really grateful because they're just kind awesome. human beings like when well, we went to go open for cool in the gang Everybody was super friendly. Like they're mm. all their hand, their stage hands, and the the band. I didn't get to meet Cool, but like all the everybody that did their sound mm. check, there was nobody that was like nobody were jerks. It was beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Well, life is short. Why not be around friendly people? You know. Exactly. Yeah. Like you. That's why I'm friends with you guys because you guys are so friendly. <laughs> <laughs> that was really. It was, I don't know. We just hit it off. We met at Nam, and and uh, and then. Uh, you were like, yeah, I'm playing the Sennheiser booth and with, you know, singing with Victor Wooten. I was just like, whoa, who are these people from Sarasota? It's awesome. Well, Another thank you so much for being on the show, guys. Give me that stuff. Yeah, and you're so um, welcome. Thank you I'm for having take, us. I'm take us out with this video. Um, <laughs> okay. And hopefully uh, we'll get some of those CDs out for you as well. Well, uh, we'll send you one if you want one. I'd love one. Yes, okay. I will be giving you my dress. Thanks again, guys. The years we've been together, I've loved to make it forever. It's been such a long time mm -hmm. But these days you seem much colder 
No love you just roll over Tell me have you changed your mind 